you. I love you. I love you. Right. I love you. It's like, yeah. But do you like shut the hell, shut the damn hell up before <laughs> I wind up and hit you? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Hot Shitaki Podcast. I'm Deborah Jen and I'm Michelle and we're two former entertainment news journalists and we're gonna be talking <laughs> while sitting on our butts this time because we already did our makeup. <laughs> <laughs> So this episode is going to be all about love is blind. Right. The weddings. Ugh. The weddings. The weddings. Oh okay. my life. Okay. So where should we start? Should we just like start with the top of the episode? Because yeah. like that was like, it. I felt like they were just like trying to get it out of the way. Yeah. That's fair. They like really brushed over it too. It felt like. Like Chelsea and Jimmy. I didn't feel like they brushed over it though. You didn't Because it felt like, like a two-parter because it was like at the very end of the last episode okay. and then the beginning of this one. But like I guess maybe I wasn't paying attention to the end of the last episode but like the breakup felt like it came out of nowhere. Well it, I think it kind of did because she also said it felt like it came out of nowhere okay. because they had such a great time together. Yeah. Which I completely understand. What I think is that he was trying to just kind of I don't want to say be a gentleman, but, like, kind of, like... That's not my take. But you finish. You okay. finish. Um, I think he just, like, wanted to kind of get it out of, like, the way. So they didn't have to walk down the aisle and then, like, okay. have her be embarrassed in front of her entire friends. Okay. Of him saying no. Okay. I, but that's the other thing, too, is, like, I feel like the producers probably tried their damn hardest to get them to at least do that. Because that would have made for really good TV. Yeah. Right? That's but true. But I think he was just trying to be, and I say and- trying... That makes me think that maybe the $50,000 penalty for not making it down the aisle maybe isn't as real as we thought. Or maybe they're more forgiving about who can and cannot be Well, so the other thing, too, is, like, I don't know if they've changed any of the wording for that, like, their contracting. Because I think what had happened... What had happened was... was, um, When the company that was being sued... The law or the production company that's kinetic, see? yeah, kinetic. Yeah. I think within like the lawsuit or the legal documents or whatever, right? Like, there's like parts of the contract that were in that. So, I think that's where people got the 50,000 mm. from, but that's probably from a different season, right? Okay. So, maybe since or they're maybe being they're just sued. like they're a little, a little more lenient about it and they're like, well, probably because they don't want to be sued, uh, you know. They don't want to suck 10 dicks to get out of this one. They don't want to suck 10 dicks to get out of this one. (laughs) They're like, we are not prepared to suck 10 dicks. Or one dick 10 times. Right. Oh, God. (laughs) Um, So what was your take on it? Okay, I thought Jimmy was trying to get her to break up with him Mm -hmm. so that he wouldn't look like the bad guy. I don't think so because he, like, he had already broken up with her once, technically. I right. guess. I mean, they've got such a weird back and forth relationship, which also I wanted to talk about the fact that you didn't tell me last week that you actually hate Chelsea and think she's annoying and you're on Team Jimmy. I'm not on Team either people. Okay, okay. Because I think they're both terrible people. Okay. I just think she is really bad at arguing. Okay. And it's just like, I don't, okay, and I also, fine, I get it. I don't know if it's the editing that makes her yeah. look that way. Right. Because in theory, like, maybe she had some good points, but the way that she got it out, like, just didn't work. Right, for the right. Well, I think but. she's also probably was struggling with a lot of insecurity. Yeah, and, no. And, like, I, the drinking agree. probably didn't help her formulate a clear yeah. argument. Yeah. But I, I think even when she wasn't drinking, though, she never had a clear argument. That Because perhaps. once he said something that didn't go her to, like, the way of the argument that she yeah. wanted to, she would jump to a completely different topic. Okay, but Jimmy is being, like, a weird gaslighter. Like, why is he saying, like... Oh, I love you so much. Meeting you is the greatest thing I've ever done. Yeah. You're my person, but also let's not get married and let's break up. I think they're both gaslighters. What is she gaslighting him on, though? I uh, There was that, um, fuck, I can't remember. Like, I had it and then it just went away. Okay. The whole, like, he, him fucking his friend and, like, yeah. that being the downfall, like, her talking about that being the downfall of their relationship. He's mm-hmm. like, you spilled my deepest, darkest secrets. And she's like, your deepest, darkest secret is fucking your friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was Be weird. so serious right now, dude. Yeah. Like, I just feel like that's so, like. I mean, it was really dramatic of him to say that. So dramatic. And he's acting like, oh, like, you're exposing my friend. Like. Well, I think in that instance, though, it's different because she's not the one that's on the show. 
Right, like he told her that in confidence. Okay, but like, and she did. Did he tell her it in confidence, or did he tell her it off camera because he didn't want to be exposed himself? Well, but also, then like, why did you bring your weird friend on the show anyway? Is like she, how good of your a friend can she be? You've only known her for two years, and within that two years, you boinked her. Boinked. I'm sorry. There's no one I've had sex with in the last two years who I well, okay, obviously I've been in a relationship, but like, I was, I was gonna but say. I've I've never just like had sex with people and then been like, oh, they're they're just a pal, and not not just a pal, but one of my closest friends in the whole world who I'm talking with all the time, mm-hmm. calling every day, FaceTiming. Yeah. Well, okay. So to that note, though, like I don't know if I can fully believe her saying that they do that all to, all the time. Because I feel like she embe- like they it. both embellish it a, a lot of things. I but also don't like every time know. could also be like every other day, like multiple even times. Even that, a week. even if it's multiple times a week, that's frequent. Yeah. Like no, you're that's an fair. engaged man. Like right. I, I just think like he's not taking the relationship seriously. Obviously, he doesn't want to get right. married. Right. But like the it's like a lot of like lip service to me when it's like oh I love you I love you I love you I love you it's like yeah but do you like shut the hell shut the damn hell up before (laughs) I wind up and hit you (laughs) no I do think he was lying the entire time though about loving her because I yeah for one second there's no way that's true I don't think and like he got so bent out of shape when she said Johnny and Amy are the strongest couple it's like okay so what about it yeah so then be a stronger couple then. Right. Be nicer to her. Be right. more committed. Right. If you want her to think you guys are the strongest couple. But I think it's just harder to be the strongest couple when also she be picking a lot of fucking fights. Okay, that's true. But I think it's just indicative of the fact it's just not a good match. Yeah, no. Completely. Right? Yeah. I mean, because I think she's picking fights out of the insecurity, out of feeling like he doesn't really, like, like her that much. Right. And, right. like, that she can sense... That he's, like, pulled back from her. He, she can right. sense that he wasn't that excited when they met. Like, right. the meeting, their first meeting was very awkward. Yeah, completely. Like, it was, like, crickets. And, I mean, I think all of them are a little awkward because they're, like, they don't really know each other. And yeah. so it's, like, awkward first face-to-face. Right, but, right. like, th- it was just especially awkward between them. And, like, the run... just think they're a bad I think they're a bad match I think so too I don't think they are meant to be together I think the whole thing was just like but do you know what situation for them I have seen some things Mm -hmm. I have seen that it looks like Chelsea and Jimmy are together now yeah they were like at a restaurant together in Florida and she had to go to Florida for like her friend's wedding Mm -hmm. so like it wasn't like they were on a cast trip together or they were just like eating lunch as friends like while they're filming in LA the reunion or something like right they were in a completely different thing so I'm like I'm sorry they have to be together I'm convinced that they are maybe they are maybe they are maybe they've like found maybe they found their rhythm once they got off camera because I do I know I've heard a lot of the cast say like oh it's like a pressure cooker like being on the show is crazy it's like right it's this whole, like, it's this crazy like, it's environment. Like yeah. Cameras in your face 24 7. And it might and have made them both made act life. in a way that right. maybe isn't their best selves. Cause, like, yeah. I actually like Chelsea a lot. I'm like Team Chelsea. I've been rooting her for her this whole time. I think she's said some out of pocket things. The Megan Fox thing was like, she shot her own self in the foot, is what she yeah. did there. Yeah, she did. Which is funny because Brian Austin Green, Megan Fox's actual ex husband. Yeah. Was stopped by TMZ and he was. I, they I asked him, that, yeah. "Do you think that Chelsea on Love Is Blind looks like Megan Fox?" And he, in the nicest way possible, yeah. said, "Like, he was like, well, she has blue eyes, yeah, blue and eyes and dark, dark hair. hair, yeah." And he was like, "He was like, listen, it's tough. Like, Megan Fox is like a one of a kind beauty, and she is, yeah, agree. Like, yeah, she's had a lot of work done now, but she's always been beautiful. She's right. beautiful now. She was beautiful before the work, right." She's just like a stunning human being. Human being. Yeah. It's like it's like an alien created her because like you can't just be real and be right. that hot. You right. know what I mean? Right. Like imagine right. waking up every day and being that hot. Right. God knew I couldn't handle it. God knew. God knew. God <laughs> knew. Oh my. He's like, this gift is not for you, sweetie. <laughs> You're already a menace. <laughs> You're already so fucking mean. I'm not giving I am you this. not that mean, Michelle. I got a bad rap. I'm actually a really nice 
kind person. Should we roll the tapes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I will say one last thing on Chelsea and Jimmy. I think the one thing that like annoyed me the most though is yeah. And I, okay, so I understand you're in a relationship and sometimes, like, you're just tunnel vision, right? Yeah. But the one thing that just really made me really annoyed was that it just seemed like she just wanted to be in the relationship simply for the sake of being in the relationship okay. and to be married. I do think that... Shit does she, not work like that. That's true. I do think, like, uh, but that's a better reason than, for example, coming on the show just to want fame. I feel for her, okay, yes. she did really want the relationship. She, like, is someone who feels very deeply. Mm-hmm. And I don't think she came on for wrong reasons. And no. I guess I don't really think Jimmy came on for the wrong reasons either because he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who, like, wants fame. Like, yeah. you're just some regular schmuck. Yeah. Um, I just think it's all interesting. Like, he did call his fiance clingy. Uh, he gets mad at her when she expresses her feelings. So yeah. I just have a hard time liking Jimmy. Yeah. And I feel like it's so weird. Like, I've been seeing all this, like, pro-Jimmy rhetoric mm-hmm. on TikTok. And mm-hmm. I'm like, everyone is siding with Jimmy. I'm like, are you serious right now? Like, the uh, the call is coming from inside the house, okay? Right. It's like, right. It's like, it's like the internalized misogyny with y'all is, like, right. something that y'all need to seek help for. <laughs> Because I think I feel like the reason why that probably happened was because it was just easier to side with him because he wasn't super psycho crazy like she was. Okay, I don't think she was super psycho crazy. I do think she had annoying tendencies. Yeah. And was like hyper emotional and perhaps a little whiny and a little like I think it's like when you're not getting the reaction you want, you uh, you like you don't know what to do, and you like mm-hmm. she was kind of like grasping at straws and right. like was having a hard time expressing herself. Right. But okay, I, but then that's what I'm saying is like again she was there obviously for the right reasons. Yeah, she I think to get so. Married. In my opinion, but if you're also looking at it from that viewpoint, shouldn't you also kind of be more logical and think, okay, well this guy isn't giving me what I want. Why should I want to continue to go through with something? When this man doesn't, I think it's love it's me. hard to see that though when you're in it, right? That's what I'm you're, saying. Is like I understand that like she's feeling so deeply loved, and he keeps telling her he loves her. It feels so like they're it's both probably just love hard. Each other, perhaps. Uh, it's so weird. I I cannot wait for the reunion to find out like mm-hmm. what's going on. I'm convinced they're still together, or they got back together, or whatever. I, I think the whole thing is weird, and I can't wait to see how it plays out. Okay. I do think it's weird I too. am very intrigued. Yeah. So that couple bit the dust. Right. Right. And so really... There was only AD... There's only AD and, and Clay. Clay and Johnny and, Johnny and Amy. And Amy left, yeah. The episode was quite boring, if I'm going to be really honest. It was a little boring. Yeah, I can agree with that. Like, AD and Clay. Like, rolling right into that wedding, I was so sure that AD was going to say no. You thought AD was going to say no? Why? Okay, the real reason is that, like, before I watched, mm-hmm. I scrolled past a TikTok that was, like, oh, it was, like, the craze, like, we didn't see this coming. And I scrolled past it really quick because I didn't want to get a spoiler. But I thought that, like, what the TikTok was saying was that, like, she was going to say no because mm-hmm. the way it was, like, playing out in the TikTok before I scrolled mm-hmm. looked to me. Okay. Like, okay. AD would say no. And AD, I thought, was a smart, smart girl. And I thought that she could see through Clay's, like, weirdness. Mm -hmm. Although, she's also been gassing him up way too much the entire season. Mm -hmm. You never, never gas a man up. What for us? I'm sorry. Men have all the confidence in the world already. Yeah. The, 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 I'm sorry. You got to tear a man down. I think, okay, so I think the reason why she gassed him up so much was because she was trying, maybe? I don't know if mani- manipulation is the you think, right word. I don't think she manipulated, but maybe but she's trying to convince him. Convince him that he was to ready. love her. Yeah. I think he does love her. I mm-hmm. think his thing was, which was I, which I think is completely stupid. Because obviously if you love someone, but you have reservations about things, like you can still work it out. Like a no, marriage totally, is like. Totally. Like still a relationship. He seems to think not? that he can say no and still be with her. And, but, like, then what's the point? Like, what's going to make you ready in a year from now right. versus being, if it's the right person, it's yeah. the right person. Right. I don't know. The whole thing, too, with his dad, like, his dad came up in there, gave him, like, this motivational speech, talked about his former so career weird. as an athlete. I yeah. was like, what are you even blah, blah, blabbering about, sir? Right. You're, like, talking about nothing. 
Right. You're saying a lot, but you're not saying much. Right. You're right. literally just filling the space with words, which some people might argue is what I do on a daily basis. <laughs> Why would you roast yourself like that? <laughs> oh, but no, it was like the weirdest it thing. Was he really was weird like, though. he was like, come on, champ. Remember when I used to be an athlete and yeah. then I. So he was gassing himself up. He was gassing himself up and then he left. Yeah, that was weird. True narcissist behavior from his dad, Fair. in my opinion. Yep. Yeah. Really seems like a typical narcissist. Was talking about how, like, oh, like, who was it, like, told me to be good to your wife and be good to your kids, and no one had to tell me to be good to my kids. It's like, all right, so you were good to, good to your kids, but you weren't, couldn't possibly have been good to your wife of 20-some right. years. Right. Well, they're and divorced. Were you, right. But, like, they were right. married together for, like, 20-some oh, years. Oh, right. Yeah. I think 24 or something. Yeah. Like it was, like, a yeah. long time. Yeah. And it's like, were you really that good to your kids if you've, like, left Clay with, like, the deepest scars? Like, Clay's, like, right. struggling, bro. Right. He is. He's, like, he, he is. He's, like, was, like, I, and I get it to some extent. I think you need to let it go. Like, the sins of your fathers do not need to direct your life. Yeah. But, like, he's, like... He's like, oh, did you ever really love my mom? I think Clay struggles with the idea of, like, if that's love, yeah, how can I not cheat? Which is, like, I mean, listen, again, I don't want to suggest a man get therapy because we all know I think men just weaponize it. Well, I you think everyone weaponizes therapy, so... <laughs> Wait, what did you tell me earlier? You were telling me about your boundaries, and I was like, oh, oh really, yeah. Michelle, your boundaries? Uh, because you sent me a Trisha Paytas podcast, and you were like, her podcast is three hours long. No, no, long. no, 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 I was saying in, like, this is crazy, not, like, oh. let's do three well, hours. Okay, I was saying... The way I took it, I was like... Uh, like, no, I was sending it here. as in, can you believe she that. posted a three hour thing? Like, well, maybe say that and not just say, <laughs> her podcast is three hours. And I'm like, oh my God, this woman wants us to do more, <laughs> more work. <laughs> I feel like that's because you have a fear mindset. I do have a fear mindset. <laughs> and I'm, I'm mature enough to admit that. Okay. <laughs> and when you said that, I was like, you're like, I have to your boundaries. God. That I do not want you to cross. And then you said, I think this is weaponized, <laughs> weaponized therapy. And I was like, you know what? It is. Okay? It is. And I will walk away. <laughs> if you make me do a three-hour oh cut down. Oh, my God. It's so, so funny. Oh. Oh, my face hurts from laughing so hard. <laughs> I can't believe you thought I... No, it was very much that I thought okay. three hours was well, a crazy length that. of time. Because like, you also love this woman. I do, so how, I do. How, how am I supposed to take that? <laughs> Ooh, oh that is God. rich, man. Okay. So we get, <laughs> we, get out, we get past Clay's dad's weird, like pep talk right which left I think it left Clay more confused than ever it did because he was like hoping for clarity on like did you ever love my mom and right. he's just like come on champ if you plan to fail you fail to plan oh yeah all that <laughs> shit oh my god if you god. think you can't you certainly won't which I there's some validity to that like I actually like I was like I'm that sounds like something you like I do, I do believe in that, yeah. like, if you think that you cannot, you definitely won't, like, yeah. you know what I mean, like, I say that to, like, I say that just, like, every now and then, like, to Eric and to my sister and things, like, you first have to believe that you can, obviously, right. that seems like the obvious first step. Right, right. But, like, a weird pre-wedding pep talk, yeah. nonetheless. Yeah. Very weird. Very odd. Very strange. And then AD walks down the aisle, looking incredible, but, like, not my first choice of dress. Yeah, I liked her, the, the, like, I liked the first dress that she had tried on first. I don't so remember like, that. a spaghetti strap. Oh, yeah. And it was, like, a strapless. Like, it was, I like, mean, a very her simple, body is but it like, looked great on her body. Her body is crazy. I, like, I love seeing someone with, like, thicker legs, because I have thicker legs myself and was always self-conscious about it. Mm -hmm. So I love seeing it on someone and being like, oh, she looks good. Yeah. She looked amazing. She looks really good. Yeah. I didn't love the dress choice, personally. I still liked it, but it still it, but looked it good like, on her. Yeah. It, it just wouldn't be my choice for, like, the main wedding dress. Yeah. And the veil was kind of cool, but, like... Yeah. I think it's a regrettable choice. If I you, was going to say, yeah. Yeah. It's something yeah. you're like, it's like fun for a picture, but maybe not for like your aisle moment. Yeah. But I guess it doesn't really matter because. Um, I was going to say, like, I think she, um, she was too faithful. She all. was too optimistic. She wasn't yeah. reading the signs, I think. I think 
she wanted it so badly that she was ignoring every message Clay was putting out. Yeah. Speaking of messages, I saw um, a TikTok. Someone replayed something that I think we all missed. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. During the ceremony, he yeah. mouthed to her, like, say no. Yeah. He mouthed that to her. Yeah. We celebrate yours. We celebrate yours. Your he time. literally says no, That's and she much. just completely misses it. And she, like, just kept smiling and... Because I don't think she saw it. I know. Right? I probably... It's, it's it probably like, like she didn't see it. Yeah. I'm sure she didn't notice it. And, like... She's watching, probably just also overwhelmed with her own Right, feelings. right, right. You're probably, right. like, a lot going on. Everyone's watching you. You're, mm-hmm. And not just, like, the people that you invited, but, like, cameras. Yeah. So it's got to feel weird. Also, sorry, this has nothing to do with that, but, like, who the hell did 80s make up? Oh, yeah. That didn't look good. Uh, it certainly wasn't someone who has experience working with people with dark skin. Yeah. Because I don't even think they had the right eyeshadow colors. They did not come correct. Yeah. With a, like, an eyeshadow palette meant for dark skin I women. was going to say, I did she even have eyeshadow? I mean, and she did. But she like, did it at looked one like it was point. Just like it natural... looked like they just did, like, one swipe of, like, shimmer shadow. Yeah. In, like, the crease. And it wasn't even placed well. But also, like, maybe that's what she wanted. Because maybe she wanted to keep maybe. it more natural. Because... But the, the eyeshadow was, like, ashy on her, though. Yeah. And then she was still wearing those crazy lashes she's yeah. been wearing the whole season. Which also which weren't glued on so great. Sorry, they're just, they're not doing it for her. She they're likes too them. big. But she likes But them. she is a gorgeous girl and the eyelashes are distracting. But she likes And that's coming them. from someone who loves dramatic makeup. Yeah. Lo- like will wear a crazy lash. It's like, yeah, crazy lashes have their time and their place, but not not on your wedding day. Yeah. That's fair. And probably not every day that you're filming a show everyone in the whole world is going to watch. You know? Yeah. But that's just me. That's just me. Mm-hmm. As I talk in my neon green eyeshadow. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> like you're talking shit. You know, that is what I do. That's but fair. I was going to say, like, the best thing that happened to her out of that wedding and Clay saying no mm-hmm. was, like, she cried off all her makeup. So, like... Good for her. She looked out actually a lot better when the makeup was off. And that's from someone, again, who loves makeup. Right. It just who wasn't doing her any favors. And eye makeup. I also, though, loved Clay's mom. She was so... Telling yeah. off the dad. She, yeah. like, had her moment. She did. And I really think she didn't know about all the cheating she said as she much didn't. until the, the yeah. filming of the show. Because I think yeah. Clay probably sat her down and was like, hey, yeah, I've been talking about this and it's probably going to come out. Yeah. No, she did. She said she didn't know. Yeah. She said she knew some things had happened, but she was like, I didn't know the extent of it right. until all of this was happening. Which is crazy to me. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Yeah. When AD, when AD said I do, and Clay, Clay looked like he was literally going to be sick. Yeah. He looked like he was going to throw up right there. Mm. Oh, and then the kissing her, Clay kissed her like after she said no and like yeah. was like, talking to her it was like it was it was all very weird it was really weird too because like she was like obviously very upset and he just kept being like don't do that don't or whatever yeah whatever it was he said and I was just like then why are you talking to her like why are you telling her like she's feeling her feelings yeah like, let her feel her feelings and then AD said she wouldn't keep dating him yeah but I've heard the streets are talking and they're saying that they they did continue to date I don't know if they're still they together are. now yeah I kind of feel like they are. I could see it. I could see it. I could see it too. I just don't know if they are because I feel like in the trailer, there was a clip where he said that she was the one that got away. So why would you say that if you're Mm. still with someone? I think that's what he said. Or he said she was like the love of his life or something. Like something to that extent. That's really interesting. AD was like the whole crying thing and like the I'm never enough, I think just goes to show like, one, you have to be with a man who loves you more than you love him. Mm-hmm. And she clearly loved Clay more. Yeah. And she was always gassing him up. Yeah. And, like, just going over the top about her love for him when he was very much pulled back. Yeah, he was, like, really reserved about it. I think that's a relationship that's going to crash and burn if they are still together. It's not going to end up well. It's going to be yeah. another Giannina and Damien. Mm. Where Giannina that. always loved Damien more for some weird reason. Yeah, and he didn't. Even though Giannina was clearly better than him. Better uh, out of his league. Yeah. I, I guess some we'll men have see. nothing but the audacity. And I think Clay, he's like a hot man, obviously. Yeah. 
He's got like multiple businesses. Oh, speaking of which, I heard their finances were actually a thing that like didn't make the cut, but was actually a factor in the whole saying oh. no. That like she wasn't working the whole time and is like oh. marginally employed. Okay, because I was like wondering what that was because he had made a comment. He made like a comment, but like yeah, he's like, like I don't know anything about her finances. Yeah, yeah, and that's what made me think it was like super weird because I was yeah. like, why does that matter? Like you figure it out. That's like one thing you figure out along the way. Well, I mean, you know, you probably yeah, want to figure yeah, out before you, don't you want, marry them. Right? That's fair. Okay. Yeah. Like, but it it just felt weird him saying that. But I it guess felt that weird and out of place. But like, it, it sounds out. like yeah. they cut it out. And like, so she works like in a restaurant and like club night, club club life, and like is also a cheerleader. And it sounds like she wasn't working at all during the filming, and so he kind of was like, "Do you have a job?" Well, her How lower third kept make? saying that she was an a real estate agent. So that's why I thought... Yeah, I think she's, like, a real estate agent, and, like, that's, like, everyone's kind of fallback, right? Oh, I don't think she's, I mean, like, doing so hot with it, though. Oh, like, she's, like, not fully in it. Yeah. Like, an act. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I So, I don't know. That's, like, an interesting thing that I don't know if we'll ever get the answers to. Yeah. I'm sure she's doing... Gonna do fine now. She's gonna get brand deals and all yeah. sorts of things. Yeah. So, it's, like, I'm sure they're fine, but, like, people were accusing Clay of going on just to promote his own businesses. Like, his boat rentals and his Airbnbs. And he's a hot man. Like, he's gonna, yeah. you know, like, maybe he just wanted the women in his DMs. Maybe. So, A.D. Clay may or may not be still together. Right. Are definitely probably not a great match. Yeah. I don't see them being long together long term, regardless of where they are now. I don't know. A part of me, like, because I kind of, aside from him, like, holding back a lot. Yeah. The moments when they, ha- like, that they had together where they, like, we're gassing each other up yeah. and like, had a fun time together. Like, I, I enjoyed those moments. I so I, like, wants, am hopeful. He wants to be a good husband. Yeah. I just don't. You just don't think he wants to do it with her. Maybe he does and just, like, truly does need more time because he seems very conflicted on just the topic of love and long-term relationships yeah. in general. Well, I mean, he for sure needs to work on that. But, yeah. Like, it needs to come from So maybe dad. maybe it could work because I think, like, if he did try to warn her at the wedding and say, say no, that was sweet. But also, why didn't he I tell mean, her, like... he's been warning. He's been leaving subtle warnings I know, the but entire uh, Then again, you think, like, why wouldn't he said. literally just come out and say it on like, off camera and say, like, hey... I bet you he did say something, but either she... I thought, mm, I'm just, you think he, she's just ignoring all the red no, flags? No, I'm thinking she either really tried to convince him, and obviously at the very end, like, it just fell apart. I think it also fell apart because of what his dad yeah, said. Yeah, I do think... Or I think the producers were like, all of our couples have fallen. Yeah, we need we you. Need, we yeah. stick it out. That's true, because that was the only, like... Because imagine they wedding. only did one wedding. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That like, would have been awful. Yeah. They probably were like, we are going to follow right. through with this lawsuit right. if you don't go down that damn aisle. <laughs> and they're like, god damn it, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I do think, like, AD needs to get over her fix-a-hoe phase. And she, because she was crying about, I'm never enough. I'm just never enough. But you are. You're beautiful. Yeah. Like, and you're, like, you've got a great personality. I don't know if you have your finances together, but that shouldn't matter to the right guy. Yeah. I think it's just, like you said, that mentality of being a Captain save Yeah. Like, that is really a big downfall to Especially a a woman should never be a save No. Uh, A woman, you need to be on the pedestal. The man needs to love you more. Right. And we see a man loving you more in Johnny and Amy. Yes. Our classic example. I mean, it was almost so boring and I almost didn't even have to watch that wedding (laughs) because I knew that they were going to say yes. I was like, do I even need to watch this? I'm like, boring. Right. But they are really sweet. It was a cute, I'm glad I watched it because it was like really cute seeing their families interact. Yeah. And you like, there was no question throughout the whole day like that they showed their families like they obviously knew they were going to get married and it was like, oh, that it was pretty sweet and like. The way that Johnny is with Amy, and, yeah. like, I love that he was, like, you are so beautiful. Like, I wouldn't have even approached you at a bar. Oh, my God. Because, like, you're out of my league. Right, right. Which I think is, like... That is really sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, and, see, this is why when I was telling you the man should always love the woman more, but that doesn't mean the woman doesn't like the man. Right, right. And isn't attracted to him, because she right. is very much attracted to him, and she very much loves him. Right. But he's, like... I yeah. love you. You right. know what I mean? Right, right, and I think right, that's right. what we should all strive to find in our relationships. And I think if you want a relationship... You keep bringing it. this up and I'm going to stop you right there <laughs> and not having this conversation. Every fucking time. We're done. 
We're done. We're done with this. But it's also okay to be single. Thank you. I think it's great to be single. And I wish I had enjoyed my single times more. Because I think it was, I, I could have just relaxed and enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And then I would have not had so much stress around, like, yeah. finding a relationship, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You know? Yeah. being single can be fun. But yeah, I think, like, what we really learn is that love isn't blind, but it is dumb. Yeah. I think we always knew love was not blind. I think so. I feel like there has to be a level of attraction there. There has to there be. There has to be. And they, I like how at the weddings, they're like, you, are the, at AD and Clay's wedding, they're like, we put all of the superficial things aside. What was it? I think I wrote oh, it God. down. He was like, with looks, age, finances, all the superficial things of the world were not a factor for you two. And Clay's like, I didn't say all of that. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> oh my but god why, I'm sorry they always talk about finances not mattering on love is blind we're saying love is blind not love it's like finances do matter that's like one of the number yeah. one things couples fight about and like yeah. unfortunately finances make the world go round so yeah, it's like if your finances aren't lined up or like you don't like have an understanding right I, of course that's gonna cause conflict yeah you're not wrong like I'm not gonna go out there and date some dusty Right. And have him like an albatross around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that. Thing. I learned so many new things when I'm around you. Like, I've never heard of that one. That's you know, it's 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 possible that I use sayings wrong, but I'm... I also think it's because you grew up with a white dad, and I'm sure he maybe have said a lot of that's those things to you. That's probably I've true. never heard any of them. That's, that's actually probably a good point. Although I don't think I got the albatross around my neck no, thing so. from him, no. Okay. I think what I actually that got that from Aqu Aqua Teen Hunger Force. What the hell is an albatross? It's like, it's like, just like a bad omen, I think. An albatross around your neck is an idiom that means something is causing you great problems or preventing you from doing what you want. For example, you might describe an old car or an economic downturn as an al albatross around your neck. Or a okay. dusty. Or a dusty. Dating a dusty is an yeah. albatross around your neck. Okay. I think an albatross might be a fish. It sounds like it would be a fish. Oh, so anyways, we are approaching the reunion next week, and I we've gotten a lot of the looks out of the reunion. Like, Netflix posted, mm -hmm. like, all of the castmates in their looks, and, like, this is usually when people come correct. Mm -hmm. They're, like, hiring the best makeup artist. They're, like, we are not playing around. Yeah, but some of them did. Some of them did. Some of them so did. So we have AD, just, like, let's start with AD, because her look is personally my favorite can i say something about her yeah look? i have that dress bookmarked <gasps> really is yes. it from revolve no it's from opali oh really i think it's opali yeah they have a couple she of looks different good colors. i can see her nippy covers yeah she looks really good that color on her is they're incredible. all like nude colors i think that her dress wig style. is like it looks her wig is so good yeah I'm hoping that her lashes are a little more toned down. Hair, makeup, everything. She looks... She looks amazing. Body, girl. Right. I mean, she really looks good. Yeah. I hate to, like, quote Clay from the wedding when he's like, okay, body. Right, right. <laughs> but she really does look good from head to toe. And I... Okay, was it a disrespectful comment or was it him just gassing her up? Because if someone said, okay, body, to me, I'd be like, oh, you... I think, I think he was. I think he was gassing her up. Yeah, I yeah, thought it was. I thought it was nice. It too. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was nice, and I think we're reading too much into it. If but that's say. also how they talk to each yeah. other. You know. Yeah. yeah. And I think I, people but I are think just people weird. hate on it because of the overall context of him saying like he didn't want to. He's like, I can't leave the pods with someone without knowing how they look. Like, yeah. And so I think people put too much on that and like yeah. twist it. But okay, Jess. Okay, we all know I love Jess. Yeah. She looks amazing. She looks great, right? She would look good in a in a potato sack. Yeah. This dress, though. I do not like the dress. I do not like the dress. I don't like the side cutouts. It's giving very like twenty fifteen Forever Twenty One. Yeah, it's an ill fitting dress. I, it looks cheap to me. Yeah. It's people are saying it's like a revenge dress, and like that's well, not a revenge dress. It's not a revenge dress. Um, I mean, like eighties like yes, dress is a revenge. Yes. Dress. This is, it's giving, like, okay, Jess obviously knows she's hot, and I think she was like, oh, like, she has the body for a dress like this, right. but the dress is not, you could have found a better dress. 
that yeah. showed off your body still and didn't look like it's the middle section that's for what me. i'm saying it's yeah. the middle it's section the cutout part the cutouts would have been okay like the top of the dress i like well because like if the reason why this part doesn't look good is because there's no structure yeah here. it's it's ill-fitting yeah and i think it's also low in the back too my yeah. guess is by the way that the dress yeah. shaped here i just don't think that dress would honestly look good on anyone no clearly dress. not because she has like an incredible right. body so if right. it doesn't look good on her right it's not gonna look good on anybody right yeah but she looks good the boobies the hair the makeup i mean she's obviously a gorgeous girl yeah so she can get away with wearing the ugliest dress i've ever seen there you go <laughs> oh my god yeah. amy, amy looks great <gasps> I really like that dress on her. It's giving Jessica Rabbit in yeah. the best way. This is incredible. I agree. Slayed the boots down house. What did the people say? What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying out new phrases. <laughs> but then you just said, what do the people say? So is it a new phrase that you came up with? I think or? I mixed two. It's like, slay the boots down made sense. The house didn't make sense. Although I think usually when people say the house, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because, like, a Jeffree Star would just say the house, and I'd be like, what? Oh, okay, I didn't know that was the thing. Just, like, Jacqueline's lipstick. Very house. You've never heard the house? No. I don't watch YouTube, remember? It's not a YouTube thing. It's more of, like, a, it's, like, kind of, like, a gay community thing. Like, um, drag, drag race stuff. I don't watch drag race, but mm. I've also never heard the house from any of my gay friends. I hang out in WeHo a Really? Lot. I'm surprised. Yeah. Let's ask Daniel. Maybe he can school us on how to say it. Okay. I'll just be like, <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? I've never heard of that before. <sighs> oh, actually, Amy's dress might be the, my favorite. I, her and AD look incredible. I yeah. just... I think her and AD are my top two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm not into that. Chelsea looks good, though. The dress is a little Game of Thrones to me. Yeah. But the hair, the makeup, she looks good. The face lo is giving. I don't know if I can agree because I think she doesn't look like how she looked in other photos. Like, she looks, I don't know. It just, like, feels like her hair color right now. And then, like, I'm sure that's the bronzer on the side. Like, I think it's just all too one tone for me. And it doesn't mm. look good. It's very one-dimensional. I'm, I'm liking it. Okay. But also because you like her. I do like her. That's true. See, I'm not always a hater. Oh, <laughs> no, I think she looks good. The dress isn't like the best I've ever seen, but it's not bad. It's not as, like Jess is, is the worst, I think. Uh, they would be on my worst fashion looks. Um, you're, I'm decide. being perhaps a little forgiving, but she's been through it. Let's be nice. It's the meanest thing anyone's ever said, Michelle. That's oh a rich coming from you. <laughs> a rich coming from you. <laughs> I don't know. I think she looks pretty. I think she looks pretty. I think, like, her hair, like, she needs to be wearing extensions more often. Because mm -hmm. I think it gives her more volume. Like, when you have a longer face, you need a little more volume mm -hmm. to kind of give the illusion of a not-so-long face. Okay. I also think she could try bangs. Because she yeah. has a larger forehead. Yeah. And I can relate to that. Cute. So I think bangs would be cute on her. Yeah. But she looks good. Yeah. I've got some notes, but I think she looks good overall. Yeah. We can do Who her the hell is this? That's Brittany. Oh, my God. Brittany. Brittany looks really good. I forgot about her. She does look really good. She looks so good. She looks good. The dress good. is great. The oh, sweat. she's such we a, love a good sweetie. Sweat. I feel like Kenneth did her so dirty. I yeah, okay. So then who do you feel worse for? Chelsea or Kenneth or, or Brittany? I feel worse for Chelsea because, like, she's getting dragged through the <laughs> trenches. Oh, my God. The internet has not been kind to her. Fair, but, you know, she's done a lot of out-of-pocket things. Out-of-pocket is a little... Is it a, is it a stretch? That's a little bit of a stretch, is I it? think. She, uh, she's, she's, she's done some things that are a little annoying and a mm. little, like, okay, like, whiny, mm. perhaps. But, mm. like, she's not a bad person. I don't think she's a bad person. No. Out-of-pocket is, like, when... David Dobrik smashed Jeff Jeff Wittick's eye into a crane and almost killed him. That's out of pocket. <laughs> I'm wondering if we do not understand what out of pocket means. Like her saying she looks like Megan Fox, out okay. of pocket. 
she didn't for, her she didn't say it but you know what she wanted to say okay. for oh, her right. for her to act like she didn't know who Megan Fox was for her to be okay, like that oh, was... MGK's wife or fiance okay, that's fucking that, out of pocket that was okay okay she knew exactly what she was doing <laughs> She knew exactly she what she was doing. I do think she did in that instance. All right, I'll give it to you. But needless to say, I like her. And I think I tend to be a lot nicer to people who I think are get like, all right, people are being too mean to. I think I'm you mean to people who to I it. think need to yeah. be, a, like, okay. like, people need to be a little meaner to you. Yeah. Like James yeah. Charles. Right, okay. Yeah. People need to be meaner to James Charles. And I'm like ready to start the charge on that. Already. Well, yeah, finally. Yeah. It's taken years. Yeah. Anyways, Michelle's got to go. So we got to cut this conversation <laughs> short. You got to wrap it up. I can't wait to react to like some of the men's outfits. Um, Kenneth. Yeah. He's a demon. <laughs> I hate him. They're all demons. At this point. Except, Except for, for Johnny. 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 Yeah. Johnny. Sweet boy Johnny. We love him. What a cutie boy. Just like Gizmo. Come here. I So I, I I really think Johnny and Amy are like the new, like they're this season's um, um, Lauren, and, Lauren Cameron. and Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. Very much. I, th- I hope they last. They are giving me long lasting couple vibe. Which like none of the couples from the other seasons that ended up getting married uh-huh. gave me... <laughs> I'm like, he's being wild. He's being wild school. and crazy, Gizzy. Come here. Come here, you. <laughs> he wants to play. He says, okay, he done film me now. Yeah, so and none of the couples that previously said yes in other in other seasons really gave me, like, all long-lasting vibes. Yeah. But you got to catch up on the other seasons. I know. I should start watching. I heard also, like, um... I've heard people say the Sweden one is, like, really funny. Oh, I was thinking we should watch yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we've got a lot of, we got a lot of content to keep you undepressed for quite some time. Thank you. <laughs> I did start watching Perfect Match with my friend after we oh, finished Oh, honestly, episode, so. honestly, Perfect Match was a really boring watch. Oh, okay. Um, but at the end, it got pretty spicy. Okay. So I watched the whole thing. I was a little bored, though. Oh, okay. Because it was kind of just like a lot of clout goblins wanting to get clout. Yeah, that's right. But anyways, Michelle's got to go. So it's time to say toodly scoodlies and bye. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.